Welcome to the last part of multiplication. Basically, in this part, uh, we will learn the numbers which are multiple of hundred, the number which is close to the multiple of hundreds. So, like the number which is basically two hundred four, two hundred six, this kind of numbers. So, we have learned about hundred. We have learned about one thousand. Now, we are learning about numbers which are close to, let's say, the multiples of hundred. Like it is three hundred four into three hundred five. This kind of numbers. Let's let's begin then. So the first thing we are going to learn is what about 206 into 209. So it is the same thing again. It is how much it is extra plus 6. How much extra it is plus 9. So the first step is always same. 6 into 9. How much it is? 54. So write down 54 exactly. Nothing else. Write down 54. Now the second step is also same. What is 206 plus 9? 206 plus 9 is 215. How much it is? 215. So 215 cannot be your answer. So as because the leading digit is 2 here, so you need to multiply 215 into 2. So the answer is 43054. I hope I make it things clear. Now if it is let's say about 300 close numbers, like the number is let's say same as 304 into let's say 315. So for this things what you are going to do, this is again how much extra? 4, this is 15. So that much it is fine. So 4 into 15 is 60. So I'm just writing 60. Now what is the next step? 304 plus 15 which is 319. But I have to do 319 into the leading digit. What is hard? 3. So into 3 kar do yaan pe. So what is 319 into 3? That is 957. So your answer is 95760. I hope I am making things clear to you. This is how you can solve this type of questions. Right? So let's think about the next one. When the numbers are less. So here it is. Like 204 into... Let's say 196 into 192. When the numbers, both of the numbers are basically less. So 196 into 192. In this case, what is it? It is minus 4 and this is minus 8. So what is 4 into 8? 32. Write down 32 here. Perfect. Now, what are the next step you need to do? That is 196 minus 8 or 194 to minus 4, which is 188. So it is fine with 188, but what we need to do here we need to multiply with 2 again because the base is 200. What is the base? 200 is the base. So I have to multiply it by again 2. So 188 into 2. Now how much it is? This is 190 into 2 is 380. So 380 minus 4 is 376. So it is 376, 32. Hence that is your answer. Now similarly, if I have something else, let's say I'm just giving you another example. Let's say 300, uh, uh, like not 300, I'm sorry. Uh, let's say take this example as 297 into 291. So in this case, what you will do? That is minus 3, that is minus 9. So first step is 3 into 9 is how much? 27, perfect. Next step is 291 minus 3. How much it is? 288, right? Now 288 into 3 you have to do. What you need to do? You need to do 288 product 3. Because what is it? It is a 300 base wala number, say yes, right? So the numbers are basically close to 300. Now what we are going to do, 288 into 3, what is it? Uh, 290 into 3 is basically 870. That is 290 into 3. So 870 minus 6, which is 864. Now you are understanding how I am doing calculation also. Because this thing what I did, now I am giving you the shortcut for the calculation. 290 minus 2 into 3. Is it easy to calculate? Yes. So what is 9, 29 into 3? 29 into 3 is 87. So it is 870. That is 29 into 3 minus 6. So 870 minus 6 kitna hota? 864. Hence your answer is 86427. So I'm using all the techniques to solve this type of questions. I hope you're understanding it. The next thing that we are going to do is basically the third part of it, which is when one is more and one is less, like 204 into 196. Now think about it. This is plus 4. This is minus 4. And the base is again 200, right? Now, if this is the case, so what I need to do, I just need to do 4 minus 4, this is minus 16. So, hence, because it is minus 16, I have to do what? I have to subtract from 100 again. So, 100 minus 16 is how much? That is 84. So, write down 84 here, straight 84 here. Now, next step is 204 minus 4. Yeah, 196 plus 4, that is uh, fine. So, this is 204 minus 4 is how much? 200. So, 200 into 2 minus 1. Why minus 1? The same logic with 100 we are doing minus 1. Here also we do minus 1. So what is 400 minus 1? That is 399. So hence your answer is 39984. So let me give you another example. Let's say 301 into 293. 
So in this case, what is it? It's basically plus one, and this is basically minus seven, right? And it is close to, all this number is close to 300. So what is one minus seven? That is uh, minus seven, obviously, and I'm subtracting it from 100, so how much it is? 93. So write down 93 here, perfect. So if it is 93, so what is the next step we need to do? That is 293 plus one, how much it is? 294. So 294 into three minus one. Why I'm multiplying with three? The important thing is because the base is 300, I'm multiplying by three. So what is 294 into three? So 294 into three is 300 minus 18. So what is 300 minus 18? 300 minus eight, 300 into three minus eight, no, obviously. So it is 900 minus 18, which is same as 800. 82 so it is basically 881 so 88193 is your answer now how i am solving it that is 294 i can write it as 300 minus 6 into 3 so which is basically 900 minus 18 because this is basically 294 so 900 minus 18 is 882 so i have done right 882 minus 1 is 881 so hence this is how we can solve this type of questions so i hope all of you guys understood this. We will see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.